we got to think about the cliffhanger of episode two because that cliffhanger is directly going to relate to another theme as well. Remember the cliffhanger here. You know, Morph, is, he opens the door from hearing the ring and Jean is there hurt and says, I need help, I need the X-Men and falls in his hands and they're confused because there's another Jean in the back with the baby and Cyclops. So yeah, when the, how that whole thing ended, um, ended that cliffhanger is going to lead into a major theme. You can see it already. If there's two, they look alike. The concept of a clone, AI technology, robots taking over and things of that nature. This is here. This is here. And keep that question in mind because like I said, these themes, they're not just for this episode. The reason why they're called major themes and brought up right here in the introduction and letting you know what's to come is because they're going to lead into moving forward with this series. So with that being said, let's get into the first scene of the episode. Now, here we go, right off the bat, the first part of this. Remember, fire made flesh. Fire made flesh. X-Men 97, episode 3. The first part of this, we gotta say, we could call this, who is the real Jean Grey? Who is the real Jean Grey? So right here in this scene, um, from the beginning on the cliffhanger, they're trying to figure out, all right, this Jean that just came at the door is all hurt. Got in the couch, they're trying to figure out what's going on, what's happening here. So with all the confusion going on, everybody trying to question and figure out what's happening here, Gene decides to read the mind of this new Gene. So when she reads the mind, she goes in and she figures out and realizes that, wait a minute, this Gene has an authenticity to her. And it actually, I could feel her memory. She actually really is telling the truth. She really does need help and is really seeking the X-Men. All I can receive from her memory, this is basically what the gene is saying. She's like, all I can see from her memory is that she was in some type of laboratory on some type of table. And she got up from whatever was going on. Some type of science was happening. She got up from this and she went straight to seek the X-Men. And the way it was set up was like, oh, she might be here to actually hurt the X-Men, but she's like, nah, I don't really feel that. And as she's really trying to go deeper into the memories, bam, something happens and it's interrupted. So just like we seen in that other episode, that episode one, when Master Mode um, stopped her when Jean was using Cerebro, once again, now she's not using Cere Cerebro, but something stops her, interrupts her um, tele um, tele um, kinetic powers, telepathic powers. So now, um, once she gets here and they finish this and she's she's interrupted, the um the gene is not there, but now they're like, wait, what's going on? So if this person is a real gene, like what's going on? Who's the real gene? And this is hilarious because they can't trace this new gene. Like Beast is doing all, or, or Beast is starting to do his test, and it's like, I can't really the only thing I can tell you right now is that um this is some type of we got some type of real serious situation. Both of them have the same type of, um, so far it looks like both of them, both of them are real gene. Both of them are real genes, basically is what Beast is saying. So then like Morph is like, yo, what's going on here? So what should we do here? Um, should we call them Gene Doe? And this is hilarious because this is when Morph makes his first change and we have major themes to discuss in this in itself. So first off, before we even get into that, think about what we're talking about right now. Who's the real gene? Both of them showing some type of proof. Think about what I'm saying. Both genes, even from Beast, with his initial test is saying that both of these are showing signs that both of them are actually gene. What does that remind you of in reality? 